Forza Italia, Dalio Zuri, Ringaziano Ragazzi, Donnarumma, you sexy legend. Legenda Italiano, Vincentori de Euro 2020. I don't care where I knew you say, Italy are the greatest football team to ever exist. They are going to win the whole thing. The, the Euros next year, the World Cup, the Coppa America, the Audi Cup, I don't even, yeah, the Audi Cup and the South American Paraguayan Third Division Cup, they're going to win it all, right? Alright, welcome to Umper on the Foot Marker. I'm sorry you had to listen to that amazing Italian, and thank you for the four people that are still watching the video. Uh, yeah, but anyway, Italy are Euro 2020 slash 2021 champions, and they deserved it. Federico Chiesa, the best player I've ever seen. Donnarumma, my favourite keeper I think I've ever seen. And England. Uh, yeah, be better next time, lol. But anyway, it was a good game. But in, obviously, England got beat uh, by Italy and Pens, to be honest. Uh, one more do I have to say, they played bad. Uh, yeah. Italy could have beaten them in the full 90 minutes. But on a real though, it was a good game. You know, it was end to end. Well, maybe not end to end. Well, one half, England battered. Se second half, Italy battered. It was kind of like a game of cat and mouse. But yeah, Italy um, beat England on pens, you know. This ain't going to be a long video, but I just want to. I just want to be happy because England lost a lot. But yeah, Donnarumma is the best keeper I've ever seen. Uh, Pochettino has picked up an absolute steal, pretty much signing him for PSG. And Saka is now the most hated player in English history since. Uh, I don't know, since people want to fight get Madeleine McCamp back into the country, I guess. Uh, but yeah, and I'll move on to it how Italy managed to win the whole thing uh, after I laugh at Gareth Southgate ruining Saka's career in about 4 minutes. I don't say these stuff lightly, but Gareth Southgate is as smart as an epileptic pig. Like, w what geniusness was he using to figure out they're gonna put the, most, the three most important pens in English history on Rashford, which is like 23, Sancho, which is 21, and Saka, which is 19. Do you not realise that if, well, obviously, if they score, they are known as the greatest youngsters to ever exist, but if they miss, like they did, the amount of racial abuse they are going to get is unbelievable. Gareth Southgate, was you dropped on your head as a child? How would you still have the England job? Yes, you got them to the finals, but you've you've ruined the chance for you to win your first major trophy in 57 years y you were so stupid if if i had face cam i was doing the italian hand signals right now that's how that's how frustrated i am over the england players i don't care about the fans the fans can like don't know stab each other i guess like in london or that. but honestly the england players i feel bad for most the england fans I don't feel bad for, but you know, the ones actually accept defeat, I have respect for you, but yeah, honestly, Gareth Southgate, tactical ingenious, most stupidest manager I've ever seen, he definitely had PTSD from, from Saka, Rashford and Sancho missing those pens, but yeah, Pickford, I think was England's best player with Shaw, you know, Shaw, brilliant goal, Pickford, unlucky to concede to uh, Bonucci, because he pulled off a cracking save. I, when I first saw it, I thought he made a massive mistake, but in fact, it was a cracking save. And then for the pens, he pulled out a stonking save to stop Jorginho, and then Saka to just ruin it. Uh, yeah, but then Donnarumma, the six foot six lad, Chad, and whatever words this, that end with AD, you can find. He is it. He is the greatest. Honestly, six foot six, saving everything. Rashford's pen was awful. Sancho's pen, awful. Uh, Saka's pen, all right, and he saved them. Like he is just amazing. Fit my my new favorite Italian.
See ya behind Nesta. Nesta's cool. See ya. Uh, yeah, it. After, well, thank you for listening to my in rant about Gareth Southgate, and now I'm gonna go back to praising Italy for another two minutes. As I've said many times before, and I'll keep on saying it, Forza Italia. Uh, yeah, Bonucci, good goal, striker's instinct as a centre back, and Chiesa was the man. He, he honestly drove Italy forward. If Chiesa didn't play, it, Italy would have lost. Because he was the one in the second half that gave Italy belief. He was the one that was charging forward, making runs, making everything happen. He was making everything work for Italy. W without Chiesa, they would have been done for. Jorginho, really good game, really solid game. You know, Yes, tackle to Grealish, quite a bad one, but he, he had no intent to go for the man. The ball just went under his foot somehow. Then Chiellini, a bit dodgy that, to be honest. It's just yellow all day of the week. Some people are saying red. If it was more central and further up the pitch, yeah, it's a red every day of the week. But because it was halfway down the pitch and the ref is going to blow the whistle anyway, uh, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, Bellotti, awful pen, as always. Bernadeschi had the balls to somehow put it down the middle. Uh, who else? Jorginho's pen, it's a decent pen. Got saved by Pickford. Bonucci got it over Pickford. Who's the Who's the other guy? Did Did it? Yeah, it Italy missed one. So who's the other guy that took it for Italy? Uh, I can't remember, but it's a decent pen. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So Italy all round brilliant performance. Can't fault it. Honestly, they they deserve to win it. There's no two ways about it. Like they just did. You know, be best team on the night. It's, I see England fans want to want to make a rematch by on a petition, but let's be honest, it's not happening. Just admit defeat, admit you've been outplayed, and yeah, you, you'll get over it. The World Cup's coming up. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just chin up for both, chin up for English fans. Uh, but and yeah, Italy fans, keep on going the way you are, and you'll achieve great things. And yeah, that'll be it for today. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more type of these videos reacting to to after some games, um, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, turn on the notification, all that jazz, you know, all, all the basic stuff. And yeah, I'll see you next time. And goodbye.